Symphony No. 5 by Latvian composer Janis Ivanos is considered to be one of the best examples of Latvian symphonic writing. Composed in 1945, this masterpiece, though not directly programmatic, successfully captures the emotional depth and overall feeling of the era. Despite its qualities, though, it is rarely performed, even here in Latvia. Even the most experienced musicians of the orchestra, who has been played in the orchestra for over 30 years or even more, could not remember the last performance of this piece. And I also want to mention that uh, although other symphonies are much more popular, Ivanos himself was counting this among his the best works. This was a kind of mission feeling to fulfill, to mark these significant moments of Latvian symphonic landscape, so to say. Ivanov's Symphony No. 5 is definitely not a light entertaining piece. It is uh, really powerful, dramatic, sometimes even very tragic wartime music. The, this time period, 40s, was a terrible disaster for world history. And there are some music when you can hear it very, very well. And this particular piece is one of the most examples, I think, and the most precise examples in Latvian music when you can feel all the tragedy and all the atmosphere of the Second World War. The 21 symphonies by Jan Sivanos are at the core of Latvian symphonic repertoire. Ivanos was also a teacher and a mentor for many of the present-day Latvian composers. One of them, Juris Karlsons. Juris Karlsson's 1945 is the piece dedicated to the memory of World War II as a fantasy or symphonic overture. It's more around the figures 1945 and it doesn't describe any history. It's not a programmatic piece in the sense of telling the story. It's more orchestral show piece, technically brilliant and a lot of virtuoso passages inside and almost every group of the orchestra can present themselves at the best possible spotlight. 